Hello, my name is uh, Nevian, and uh, this is going to be my first ever um, commentary on a replay. Uh, it's a game that I played in. Uh, I am at the 12 o'clock position as the Green Terran, and my friend here is at the uh, 9 o'clock position as the Red Protoss. His name is Nubbins. He's one of the better StarCraft II players I've played against, so hopefully this will be an interesting match for everyone to watch, and here we go. So I do a pretty standard opener. Um, with Terran, I like to do nine SCVs. Uh, Nate as Protoss, or Nubbins as Protoss. <laughs> Looks like he's going to be doing eight probes into a scout. And I am doing my nine. I kind of forgot where the entrance was there for a second. Um, into a supply depot. And I'll be sending out my scout here momentarily. So he comes straight to me. He finds me right away. Uh, that's big advantage. Uh, I hate it that I always seem to go the wrong way right off the bat. And he's going to harass my worker here a little bit. Um, it's one of the things people can really do to Terran players. It's very annoying. And I accidentally double-click all of my SCVs. I really didn't mean to do that. I meant to bring one down. So my income really just dropped there a little bit. Um, he then makes a pylon. And I know it's not that big of a deal right now. And I probably could be fine. But it's blocking my racks and that's where I like to build it so I pull my SCVs from the mineral line um, set me back even further and he cancels it so he doesn't lose any minerals I still have not found him I'm over here um, I'm getting back into play here and I'm way behind right now he is on his first gate I believe he makes a second gate right there he has a second gate we're about the same in harvester count but really he is miles ahead of me I have no minerals really our spectators that were watching this really found that funny and so they started asking him what he was doing and he explains that he was blocking my racks from being built which really does set me back a little bit and there it is right there what he's telling me and I am still looking for him I went the complete wrong way so I'm not gonna get hardly any scouting information so I'm gonna be flying blind because he has a block so I'm not gonna be able to get in to see his base at all my racks is still not quite up. Harvester count's about the same, so our income's not too far off. Uh, he did have a little while ahead, like I said. That's how he's got more stuff than me. His cybernetics core is on the way. And I'm finally getting gas. He's getting his second gas already. That's that, that pylon harass type stuff he did to me. Really set me back. Um, got my barracks and I don't know what I'm doing now obviously I'm paying attention to something else I finally find him I'm over here and I'm not gonna be able to get in because he is blocked so I'm making a supply depot more SCVs I should be getting a comps out there here soon oh I'm making a supply depot down here I found this really funny it really doesn't pay off because um, he doesn't go for any sort of quick expand or anything like that. Uh, it works well against Zerg a lot of times doing stuff like that, either with Toss or Terran, but against Protoss, probably not the best idea. Not very bright. He's got two Stalkers on the way. Like I said, he's already got his gas already going. And he's putting a pylon out here. He's blocked off completely. So this pylon out here is going to allow him to warp in all of his Stalkers and ground units out here which is very good positioning on his part. I've only got two Marines, my factory, on the way. I do have my comms out. I got it at 18 or 19. I, I really wish I did that a little earlier. I like getting it at 15. It seems to be the, about the best there, because mules are awesome. And we'll, we'll look at the income tab here real quick. Uh, he has more harvester than me, but my income is higher than his most of the time. Either right at the same or a little bit higher. And that's that mule kicking in. It really does do a lot. They're about, they net you about 300 minerals, and so you can really get ahead in the game using mules as Terran. So I got a second rax on the way. Factory is now done, and I'm putting on a tech lab. Um, I'm probably going to be going tanks, marauders, and marines. That's one of the builds I really like doing. Um, I believe I get some ghosts too. Yep, Ghost Academy is already going up. Uh, ghosts are really, really strong against Protoss. Their EMP rips through their shields really well. Um, if they have a High Templar or sentries, it really takes away their energy so they can't get those buffs that they need against you. So that's the, the way I'm going right now. Um, 
We got tank on the way. Not oh, and a starport. That's probably gonna be for some medevacs. Nubbins has just sentries so far, but he does have blink researching, which um, on this map you can really do some good blink harass with stalkers, and it's, it can be very very annoying, especially for a Terran Terran player. He's also got his robotics facility up, and he's making an observer, and that's he's going to use for his blink harass if he does blink harass. But using observers as Protoss is one of the best things you can really do, because intel is the key to winning. I've got a command center coming here. Um, siege mode is coming. He's got blink coming and a forge. And I'm making a reactor on here because reactors, being able to pump out marines, in my opinion, is one of the best things about StarCraft II. The reactor.